Where did I put her? This guy is such a slacker. Ah, there she is. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because daddies love their daughters. Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre who was eating travelers because ogres do that. So the king did what kings do and promised that anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his only daughter, the princess, and become king when he died. The king's lands were very far away. And the ogre King's was Landon. very large, so only one knight showed up. What? His name Just one was guy. Fred, and Fred. he fell immediately in love with the princess. What a shame! Fred was a brave knight, no, and he marched off the next morning, singing a brave oh. song as loudly as he could. <laughs> After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering. What had happened to her future husband? So she set off into the forest to look for him. The princess tracked Fred's footprints through a strange wilderness full of scary sounds and hidden dangers. Chasms filled with razor-sharp bamboo. Fortunately, she was a very brave princess who loved adventures, just like you. She used her wits to get past unexpected obstacles. Yeah, I gotta use my wits. Whoa, here we go. Oh yeah. She came to a Kick. wide river filled with snapping crocodiles. She couldn't even oh, swim. Oh snap! So what Princess do you can't think swim? she did? What? Stand on top of their heads. That's right. Just like Harry. Wait, who's Harry? It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. She had to use magic mushrooms to get high. Or up. <laughs> get high. Oh. Uh, whoa. some bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. Yeah. As Suck the it, sun bamboo. Set, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. Whoa, what? And there the princess discovered that the ogre had captured Fred and hung him from a tree as a snack. What the, the ogre did not appreciate visitors at all. Even Fred seemed a little embarrassed to see her. Ah, that's rude. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dang! I got clapped. Come on, come on! Whoa! No! What the? And that didn't count. That's cheating. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's tap. I'll jump. Use my jumping skills. All right. All right. Get close. Then get away. Then. Jump away. But the princess was a woman of action, and she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to talk. That's when you make fun of someone. You should never make fun of people, but with ogres, sometimes you have to. Oh man, this is so not funny. Come 
mind, you little clumsy ogre. Oh. I don't think Fred made it out of this one. And so the princess tricked the ogre and rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel too good about it. He really loved the princess. Suck it, Fred. The king told him about a giant spider that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand. So Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider, D dang it, singing Fred. a brave song, a little less loudly than before. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. So she went off looking for him again. Again. Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern, full of strange dripping sounds, kind of like the basement at school. Her footsteps echoed and echoed, echo, until it echo, sounded like echo. someone was following her. Soon she came to a vast pit, filled with vicious, deadly spikes. It was much too big to jump over, but far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? No, you don't. She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. This is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't, I, I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? I'll borrow this. Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. She floated down into the cave, deeper and deeper into the cavern. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even like... she impaled herself on the bamboo. What happened? Wait, that's not what happened. I was still holding the umbrella. What's going on here, man? Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it... What the? Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Okay, this is... Uh... Wait, that's not what happened. Okay, this umbrella's getting a little ridiculous. Getting defective umbrellas here. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. Alright, alright. She right. thought she could hear Fred moaning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My umbrella died. she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. My umbrella died. How did... Why does the umbrella have health? Who gives an umbrella health? It's an inanimate object. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she What happens when you use the unreal? She, she could hear Fred Stupid Moe. UK. But maybe it was only... Well, damn it, not again. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Again. Wait, that's not what happened. Alright. You can do this. You can do this. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. Well... What the heck? Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Man, Wait, this that's not what happened. Umbrella is really, really obnoxious. Come on, little umbrella, you can do this. You can do this. You can handle deeper it. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe Fred it was only the wind. Oh boy. There he goes. There he goes. Just a little bit this way, a little bit more this way. Finally, she landed softly. Right in a spider's web! Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able to break free. Oh no, there's rocks. Oh. The web was the only thing holding up a giant boulder. The princess needed to find somewhere to hide. Oh, oh, I got that. That last bit, I got it. I, I know what to do. Whoa, oops, wrong way. Wrong thing. Let's 
see somewhere to hide. I got the reference now. Yeah. I'm smirked. Suddenly, a giant the? spider jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. I call hex on that spider. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed, but the giant spider was very good at climbing too. It had eight legs and the princess only had two. Whoa, nice observation there, Captain. I did not notice that. Oh, come on, no! You've got to be kidding me! Whoa, oh, wait, oh, dang it. Okay, okay, I got this. Fortunately, the princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Boulders. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't trust any of these boulders around here. Spider. Suck it, spider. You ain't the boss of Finally, me. Finally, she found Fred. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess uh, decided he was cute. Fortunately, the king told him about a dragon that he could no, save stop. in order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song very quietly. After a few days, the princess got to wondering... Why her dad kept trying to give her away? That too. But she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. Again, one more time. Hopefully the last time. Maybe not. The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. How there were back. rock slides and fiery chasms. Oh gosh, who put but a rock she there? She was very brave and nimble, just like you. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. Whoa, what the? Put that there. Freaking rocks. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold, she Whoa. thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Hot Do you buttered still like muffins? muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. Whoa, that was close. Um. Okay, I get it. I'm supposed to stand up. Yeah. Whoa, that was close. I think there aren't any more of these rocks rolling around. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. Check it out. I'm on top of this rock. Woo! It's like the coolest rock ever. So she taunted the Whoa. dragon until it roared its fiery breath. Whoa! my rock. Woo! I'm um, not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, I can't even touch the dragon. Okay. Oh, 
I got it. I got it. No, I don't. Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. And so the princess and Fred lived happily ever after. Fred never had to go on another adventure again, and they had hot buttered muffins every morning. Yay. There is another buttered version muffins. of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Yay! Yay, Dawn, you did it! Her name's Dawn. Yeah. Stuff that dreams are made of.